Here's a few questions I received from one of my videos. This is the title of the video. I'm going to try and answer it with a video and uh, because I've pretty much made a, a lot, I've made a lot of videos on this topic and uh, you can go to the website homebuildingandrepairs.com click on either the engineering section which is under the design um, tab or you can go to the framing which is under the home building tab or to the repairs tab and click on framing repairs for more information I really made a lot of videos about this but this this uh, individual brought up a couple of uh, pretty good uh, points that I might not have mentioned can I ask why nailing additional roof rafters and attaching them to existing trusses does the job of supporting the roof without the need for ceiling joists? Now, in this video right here, I think that I um, didn't mention, I didn't provide you with enough information about this. This is actually another video that I made. So here's the truss and you can't just nail the rafter to the truss you know that's not going to work you need a ridge beam you need some type of a support system something that is going to prevent the roof uh, or the weight of the roof from pushing down and then pushing the walls out obviously this isn't going to happen at the uh, end of the building because you have the long plate for the tie but if you don't have any ceiling joists or a ridge beam you can't just nail the rafters onto the roof trusses and then um, cut the roof trusses this isn't going to work you're going to need some type of a ridge beam you're going to need some type of a support system in the, in here and i hope that makes sense Next question, what are the physics behind it? I have absolutely no idea except for what I just explained to you. What's the scientific method? It uh, kind of goes back to I don't really need to know how a computer works to use one, but um, I have uh, you know what I basically just explained about the ridge beam and the roof rafters and the truss. I hope that would uh, help with this question here. Aren't we just adding more weight to the roof, which pushes even with more weight? Basically, um, let's just, aren't we adding more weight to the roof, which pushes out the side walls, which, which makes a lot of sense. This goes back to what I just said also. Without the ridge beam, you're not going to be able to do this. But let's go ahead and take a look at... By adding additional weight, you're not adding that much weight. Let's say you need to add a 2 by 10 and a ridge beam. Well, the ridge beam might need a footing underneath it. At the bottom, you might need to go in for a job like this if it was a remodel and add a footing underneath the original footing. This might require more um, uh, more support for the post and the ridge beam and uh, who knows you might even need a bigger footing also on the um, on the exterior I'm not I'm not suggesting that uh, you would I've never ran into that problem before but let's go with the extra weight um, I've worked on buildings where we have two by four walls 16 inch on center studs and four by ten um, roof rafters spaced uh, 16 inches to 24 inches on center. This tells me that it's okay to put a little more weight on top of a 2 by 4 wall. And when I'm suggesting that, for example, let's say it's a single story remodel you're working on. A two story remodel, this might not apply, but there are 2 by 4 walls that are 16 inches on center. And these walls are supporting a second floor and the upper wall framing and the roof for the next story on a two-story home so I'm, I'm not going to get into the scientific uh, you know physics of it uh, because I don't know you know I got to admit here I'm not an engineer I'm just providing you with information on stuff that I've worked on in the past and what an engineer might have suggested so uh, additional weight I think once you started to get start to get carried away this could be a problem if you were going to put in 4 by 12s 12 inches on center um, and a um, glue lamb beam that's uh, you know 12 inches wide by 
um, 24 inches, um, you know, in, in height, uh, we might might be creating a problem where, where additional weight would be an issue. So to answer your question, I think it would vary on the project and the type of construction. I don't think you're going to have a problem if you need to put a 2 by 12 roof rafter in here. And again, I don't suggest anyone doing something like this without a structural engineer. This is something that if you just did it, hey, my friend, I seen that they did it and they had a structural engineer, and you're going to do the exact same thing, you might be able to get away with it. But if you're going to, if you have plans from a friend who has a 24-inch um, wide home and it's 40 feet long, and your home is 35 feet wide and it's 60 feet long. The measurements and then for the material and the engineering is going to be completely different. So I hope that helps with that. Let's take a look at the last question. How does the weight distribution work after the additional rafters are installed as per video? Um, the weight distribution would basically go from the ridge beam all of the weight that would be carried in this area would come down um, all the way into the post and down into the foundation. Um, the weight, let's say, that's on the rafter itself is going to be distributed to this area um, where the ridge is and to the bottom. I don't know if I got that in the picture there. Let me go back to the other scene here. So the weight for the rafter is going to be um, transferred from the beam, the weight of the rafter, to the beam and to the wall. So the weight will come down through the wall studs into the footing. That's how the weight's going to be distri distributed. So I hope that makes sense. So the, you did, really did bring up a good question on the weight. You know, what do we do when we start uh, adding more materials to a building? that uh, might not be designed for it and um, you got a good point that might be something that a structural engineer would need to a uh, answer and not someone like myself so anyway let me know if that helps and uh, don't forget to hit the old thumbs up button if uh, these videos are helpful and leave your uh, comments or your questions in the comment area and I will get to them as soon as possible and you can always email me if you have pictures you want me to see or email me with your questions and I will answer them kind kind of kind of answer them in order as I receive them and uh, sometimes I get backlogged sometimes I don't so it's a crapshoot send me your questions and I will hopefully I'll be able to answer them within a short period of time